What is up everybody and welcome to the how do I make a video video so I'm gonna give you the complete rundown on exactly how I make a video step by step so uh, I use five different things I use a headset a video recording software an audio recording software an editing software and a game to play so my headset I use is a Turtle Beach X11 wired headset um, it is you know exactly what I've been using for all my videos and uh, it has a great microphone and you can usually hear yourself in the headset too which is really helpful um, so for the video recording software I use fraps uh, now, Fraps costs around $30, it's not free, but it is really easy to use, it records in HD, and it is just one of the best uh, recording softwares um, out there, really. So how you use it is you open it up, you go to your Movies tab, you pick a file that you're actually going to save your movies, your recorded videos into. Um, I use just, you know, Fraps 2. You pick a keyboard, or a key on your keyboard to actually start and stop your recording. You pick a video capture setting, which is the frames per second and the size of the video. I usually go 60 frames per second and full size, which might be a little bit hard for some computers to actually run, because the higher up the FPS, um, the more, like, you know, computing power you're going to need. And also, if the game you're playing is high graphics, it'll be very difficult to record 60 frames per second. You can lower that to, like, 30. There won't really be much of a difference. Um, but I use 60 and full size. And finally, I split each uh, little video file um, every 4 gigabytes. And all that really means is instead of having one 20-minute video file for, you know, a video that I want to edit, I'll have five 4-minute ones. I, I mean, maybe, or maybe eight you know, four gigabyte size files, and that's kind of how that works. Finally, you can record your sound, which is Windows 7 sound is just, you know, the game sound and your what your computer is really making for sound. You can also use Fraps to record your voice through external in, uh, inputs. I don't recommend that, though, because the audio just isn't that great of quality through Fraps. Instead, I recommend you actually use Audacity which is the audio recording software I use. It is completely free, and it is really great. It records um, your, your voice in HD, and it has a lot of great settings, and uh, is also very easy to use. You just hit record and start talking. As you can see right now, it is recording what I'm saying right this instant. So I've made a little uh, kind of sample Audacity file here. I just was talking for a second. So um, I have a few tricks, and I actually learned this trick from Yoshi to Mario. So after you're done with your video, and you have your, your audio file right here, you just kind of talking if you just kind of highlight some of the background noise or make sure that you get some background noise and then highlight it go to effects go to noise removal get noise profile then you want to select your entire uh, track go to effects noise removal hit OK and then it'll get rid of any background noise I don't know if you kind of saw it in the beginning here I had a little bit of background noise Hold on, I'll undo what I just did so as you can see here's a little bit of background noise right there but um, after the noise removal, it is completely gone. And that's kind of a really great setting uh, to use because then it gets rid of any static or any kind of weird, you know, constant background noises that you might have around you. Um, and it makes your voice pretty clear. So the next thing I do after I have my audio file, after I'm done recording my video, I hit uh, Save Project, which I saved it as How To Audio. And now you can't actually do anything with this file right now. This is actually a project file, and I'm probably going to use that term a lot. It's a project file, which means only Audacity actually knows what to do with the file right now, because all I did was I saved it as an Audacity project file. So you can't actually do anything with it at all. What you have to do is you have to go File, Export, and now Audacity has a lot of different um, file types you can export as. I use WAV. Uh, it's very easily used throughout a lot of Microsoft programs. Then you hit Save, you hit okay for your metadata and then there you go so now what you're gonna have is a little file right uh, right here it's a wave sound type <laughs> and this is actually you know used for all editing softwares and you can actually play this and it won't just open up you know your project file okay so anyway that's how you do your uh, your audio to do your video you open up your game as you can see here I was just doing nothing in Minecraft I was just running around when you want to record your video you hit the record key for fraps and it'll actually just, you know, start recording everything you're doing. And it'll record it'll record it to whatever um, file you kind of used right here. So I use Fraps 2. If we go to that right now, you can see that these, these four right now, these are what I'm recording for this video, this exact video. It's being recorded, uh, you know, right now into these uh, files. And once I stop, 
Oh, and there we go. It just made a new one because I told it to split every four gigabytes. Once it, um, I hit, you know, end, it'll make these all as AVI files, as you can see right here, AVI. So I made a little Minecraft video, um, just kind of floating around. <laughs> this was me recording Minecraft. I can't record it, you know, and record my desktop at the same time. So anyway, yeah, this is what I made. I made a little AVI file of me, you know, just walking around. This is what I use in my videos right now. Um, so with an AVI file, you can't upload this to YouTube. This one just not, YouTube just won't accept an AVI, but that's what Fraps records it as, is an AVI file. Uh, and also this won't have any of your voice audio. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your voice and your video and put them into an editing software. Now before I actually do that, I want to tell you how I sync my um, audio and my video. Because, you know, if you're just, if you just randomly start talking and then you randomly hit record, you might have some issues with syncing it. You might not know where exactly you started to talk and, you know... When did you say, oh look, a flower? Was it over here or was it over here? You're not, it's really hard to kind of tell. So how I do it is, I go to Audacity. I'm not actually going to do this because this will ruin my recording right now. If I go to Audacity, I hit record. So it'll start recording like this. Then as soon as I want to actually start the video, which means as soon as I hit the record video key, whatever my little video key is, I use the slash <laughs> as soon as I hit that like literally simultaneously I start talking which means my video and my voice will be synced up at the beginning of both of them so the beginning of the audacity file or at least where it actually starts to talk because you know you can give yourself some time if you hit the audacity record key first it'll just look like this It's just totally flat. And then as soon as you start talking, it was, you know, also as soon as you hit the actual video record key, it'll look like all this junk. So you just get rid of all the flatness, and then um, you will have a completely syn synchronous, <laughs> syn synchronized uh, video to your audio. And that's how I've done it ever since I really started. There's other ways to do it, I know, um, but that's the way I do it. So anyway, now that you have your video, and now that you have your audio, and they're both synced up beautifully... You want to go into your editing software, which is actually going to make both of them be, you know, able to upload onto YouTube. So I use two different ones. I use Windows Movie Maker and I use uh, Movie Studio Platinum 12, which is kind of like Sony Vegas a little bit. So we'll go into Movie Maker first. Now, I recommend Movie Maker only because it is very, very quick at rendering videos. It is much quicker than doing it through Sony Vegas or Camtasia. I think I use Camtasia too. I don't know if I have it up here, but Camtasia is just another story. These are the two main ones I use. So, um, yeah, Movie Maker is not that bad. I use Windows Essential 2011, I want to say. Oh, there's an update available. And uh, it's really simple to use. It'll it'll export in HD, so I don't really see the problem with it. The only thing is it doesn't give you much or any really um, editing powers. It's pretty much just for doing exactly what I'm about to do. So what you want to do is you, I want to add your you want to add your AVI files to Windows Movie Maker. Then you want to add your WAV file as your commentary. Hopefully they're synced up uh, perfectly. And then now, like I said, since you can't put the AVI right to YouTube, you're going to want to save this, first of all, as how-to. And this is a project file, by the way. It even says it. It says, Movie Maker Project. So we're not done, even though we saved it, and we have our video, and we have your audio, and we saved it. That's not going to be able to upload to YouTube either. It's just a project file. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you want to go Save Movie, which means pretty much like Render. It's also a term, term is called Render the Video. Um, now I have some custom render settings. I'll show you kind of which ones I use. I have a 720p. The 1080p doesn't really work, <laughs> but if you hit cre create custom setting, you can create one of these. Um, and I use, hold on, let me actually show you exactly. If you go create custom setting, you can actually change your pixels, your height, your uh, frame rate, your bit rate, your audio rate. I usually just don't even change that because I don't know what it, that any of that means really. Um, and yeah, and you can hit, you know, you can name it 720 or whatever. This is pretty much the setup I use for 720. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, what you want to do is you want to hit save movie, 720. Now, this will actually save it in either an MPEG or a Windows movie or Windows Media video file. I'm pretty sure YouTube accepts both of them. Uh, to be safe, WMV is always accepted. So if you hit WMV and you hit save, I, I'm pretty sure both of them really are. That That's an MP4 or a, a WMV, but anyway, you hit WMV and you hit save. Now, this will actually render the video, and that's what takes a little bit of time. And it's actually a lot quicker using Movie Maker, which is why I recommend it. And it'll give it to you in 720p, and it doesn't look that bad. If you look at... 
I'm just gonna cancel that. We're not gonna do the whole thing. If you look at any of my, uh, or most of my Minecraft with Mod series, it was edited with with Windows Movie Maker. It was rendered with Movie with Windows Movie Maker, and it looks completely fine. But anyway, if you want a more professional look to your videos, I use Movie Studio Platinum 12. Uh, so this is kind of off of the. Oop, okay. This is off of the uh, Sony Vegas kind of you know brand. But it is a lot cheaper than Sony Vegas, because Sony Vegas, if you might know, costs, like, if Sony Vegas Pro is, like, $800 and everyone just pirates it, if you want to actually get a uh, legit software that does most of all of Sony Vegas Pro, um, and it won't rush you, run, run you $100 or $800, I think this is about 60 bucks for this program, get uh, Movie Studio Platinum. So it does, yeah, it does pretty much everything, as you can see right here, it's practically the same setup. So uh, what you do is you go and you find your video, and then I drag it into the video box, and this gives you a lot more editing power. You can go and you can do video effects, do all sorts of different things. You can, as you can see here, you can change, you know, where the video, like what you want to see. You can change the aspect ratio, everything. There's a lot of different effects you can do, um, and uh, it, it's used. It's helpful for you know more editing types of videos. If you just, but if you don't want to edit any of your videos. Like, there's not really a point in compiling it or rendering it in Sony Vegas. You can just do that in Windows Movie Maker, but I'll rest that point for now. Okay, so after you add your video, you want to go and you want to find your audio, and you want to put that in there too, and you want to make sure they're synced up, and then um, it's kind of the same thing. You can edit around, you can, you can split by hitting S, which is a good little tip. S will split your video. It's a lot easier than doing it in Windows Movie Maker, and you can, you know, you can shove them all around any, any way you want to. There's a lot of things you can do with this program. But anyway, I use this program for more some, some of the more, you know, uh, heavily edited videos. Also, one little thing you guys need to know. If you take anything away from this video, if you're using anything Sony Vegas, anything Movie Studio, and you have gaming videos, they're going to come out blurry when you render them. Unless you do this one thing. You, you right-click the video, you go to Switches, you go disable resample. That's gonna make it not blurry. And yes, you have to do it to every single. Oops, you have to do it to every single one. Switches disable resample, or you can actually just shift click all of them, and it'll switch all of them at once. That is gonna make it a lot more crisp, and it won't make it blurry. Now I've made, I've actually, you know, forgotten to do that, and some of the videos I've used for Sony Vegas came out really blurry, and it looks really, really bad. And you'll notice a complete. Um, you know, a completely changed video, really, when you do that. So yeah, after after you, you're done with your editing or whatever, you go to Project, you go to Save As. Once again, you're just saving it as a video project file, or, you know, just a Sony Vegas project file. So we can't do anything with this yet. We hit Render As. And now for a rendering setting, <clears throat> I use the Internet HD 1080p. This will give it an MP4 file, not a WMV file. You can also do WMV down here. But um, the Internet HD 1080p is really good. Customized templates just like this, if you guys want to make it yourself. It is extremely great, um, and this is what I use for most of my 1080p videos. Then you also have your 720p down there. I forgot to, Nate, Nate, uh, Nate. I forgot to note one thing. Uh, Windows Movie Maker doesn't usually have 1080p, and if it does, it will usually fail the render. It won't actually be able to render it out. So if you really want a 1080p video, Go with, like, Movie Studio Platinum. If you want a 720p video and you're not really doing much editing, like I said, once again, Windows Movie Maker is better. Um, just because it's quicker. So, anyway, yeah, you pick your, uh, pick your setting and then hit Render. Now, before I, did that, before I do that, I actually want to show you guys my project settings. So, you have Render settings and you have Project settings. It's a little bit different. Um, you don't have to really worry about the differences. Uh, just know that you want both of them to usually be about the same. And this is the project settings I use. 1920 by 1080p. Um... And then you can choose audio. I just make everything the best, really. There's a few things that are missing here that uh, there's some options in Sony Vegas Pro that you can get, but it's not really that big of a deal. So anyway, like I said, you're going to want to save it, and then you're going to want to render it. You want to pick your setting. You hit render, and this will render it to an MP4 file, which will be ready to upload to YouTube. And uh, then you can upload it. So we're going to actually... I think we're going to... No, actually, hold on. I have a video ready. So after you're done with that, I'm just going to cancel it. I'm gonna exit out of there. And this is where I don't know if they. I think Fraps might start recording only Google Chrome. I'm not really gonna sure how this will work, but let's just open it. So you open up Google Chrome. You go to your your YouTube. You hit on upload, and then you want to pick your upload. And okay, yeah, I made. So here's the fan art two video. You open that up, and it's gonna be uploading. I use a title. 
fan art too, write a description, blah, blah, blah. So, hope you guys learned something. Hope you all enjoyed. Maybe now you can go and make your own videos. I mean, it's not that, that really that hard. You get into a nice little groove with it, and it becomes second nature uh, after a little while. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you learned something, leave a thumbs up or something like that. And that is about it. So, un the, until the next video, I will see you guys all later.